Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of RM Cookbook. Hope you all been well. This is the part two of our burger adventure. And the first part you have seen last week how we prepared our brioche bun. And in this one, we are going to make the actual filling for the burger. And this is going to be a chicken burger. And for this, we are going to use one single chicken breast. And from this, we'll prepare two uh, chicken burger. And that's enough for two people's uh, lunch or uh, dinner. So um, we, we will cut the uh, chicken breast uh, right through the middle in order to make it slightly thinner so it actually cooks easily then we will wrap it up in uh, cellophane or cling film and uh, then we will just pound it, it just uh, take a rolling pin or something and just uh, beat the hell out of it <laughs> the way uh, the reason you need to do that is because uh, it um, uh, makes the protein fibers uh, or strands um, spread out a bit and it also very easy uh, then for chicken to absorb all the uh, batter I mean the marination for marination we are actually using one tablespoon of pomegranate uh, molasses to that we added around a quarter teaspoon of uh, paprika powder we are adding around a half a teaspoon of uh, freshly crushed uh, cumin powder and to that we'll be adding around a half a teaspoon of uh, salt salt and pepper is to your taste vary it the way you like and also the rest of the recipes i mean you know experiment with it uh, we are just adding around half a teaspoon of coriander powder to that we added around quarter teaspoon of uh, chili powder um, and uh, just give it a quick mix i actually forgot to add a little bit of a pinch of ginger garlic paste which i'll be adding very soon uh, but um, you know uh, you need to add also uh, ginger garlic paste that gives a very nice uh, flavor to it and this is what i'm doing now just adding a pinch of uh, ginger garlic paste give it a good uh, mix and then we will just uh, take out the um, chicken breast and mix it thoroughly in the uh, marination pot and just cover it up with cling film again and put it in the fridge for around uh, two or three hours if you want to keep it for a whole day uh, just take it out when you want to uh, roast it now we are going to ma make, make the batter mixture to that we for that we need around a cup of uh, white bread flour to that we added a little bit of uh, salt we are adding around a one and a half teaspoon of uh, chili powder a uh, little bit of uh, uh, cumin powder um, and uh, this is basically half a teaspoon of uh, cumin powder um, to that we added a half a teaspoon of mustard powder just a bit of an added kick and a quarter teaspoon of uh, black pepper um, and we'll be adding around a pinch of uh, coriander powder and lastly we'll add um, around a uh, little bit of pinch of uh, crushed um, uh, dried basil leaf just uh, just mix that together this this gives a very nice flavor uh, to the whole uh, you know fried chicken breast and this batter becomes really crunchy and very flavorful now let's make the other stuff for that we need around uh, one egg um, just uh, beat it to runny consistency just you know beat that egg and um, then we'll also use a neutral flavored oil to fry our chicken because we don't want to disrupt all this flavor we are building up through this process of marination and batter preparation then once the oil is uh, hot enough we just basically take the chicken breast and just uh, uh, cover it up with flour the way you see over there and then um, drench it into uh, the egg uh, beaten mixture and then do it again on the flour then once the oil is hot you can see that everything is fizzling around and that's the time you know that the temperature is right uh, put the uh, chicken breast uh, into that and uh, just let it stiffen up a bit you will see over here you know that it, it shrinks a bit and that's when you know that one side is slightly done and then you just rotate the chicken breast again to get the other side done you will see that it just shrinks up and uh, that's because the heat and protein when it they come in contact they curl up and this is the reason you see that it shrinks up after that we just put around three minutes on each side till they're golden brown and this is basically how I like my uh, chicken breasts to be prepared and that's done take it off the uh, frying pan and just put it into some um, uh, kitchen tissue for um, uh, excess oil to be drained this is a good time to put some sliced cheese on top of it because the heat will start melting the cheese and uh, that would just get stuck to the chicken itself now well, we prepare our um, burger buns in the meantime this is freshly made which you saw last week uh, I showed you how to make this burger bun 
Over here, we'll just prepare it with some homemade ketchup. Put that uh, chicken breast in there. You can see those sliced cheese. I'm using cheddar. Then some, you know, fresh dill with some fresh herb, vegetables, slices of tomatoes. That's it. This is so simple and easy to make. I'm sure you'll like it. I liked it. We both enjoyed this burger together in the house. This was so filling. Uh, it was enough for us for either lunch or uh, dinner recipe. Hope you give this recipe a try. If you did like it, tell us, uh, you know, how you would have preferred your burger to be prepared. And if you did like this recipe, if you change something in the recipe, share it in the comment section. Let us know uh, how you try to experiment uh, with this recipe. And uh, hope you uh, do give this recipe a try. And if you like it, share it with your friends and family. And if you're new to our channel, consider subscribing here. We share all sorts of recipe. Try to do it every week, but uh, normally once every two or three weeks and as usual hope you like this recipe and till the next time take care